Hi and welcome to the unboxing video of the number one Sun S2 smartwatch. I kindly received this device from the GeoBest online shop and you can find the product link as usual in the video description. So let's set up. What is actually the number one Sun S2? The Sun S2 is a smartwatch, a Chinese smartwatch with a round display. And beside the Z Plus 360, also known as other names, to my best knowledge, this is the only Chinese smartwatch so far with a round display, round colorful display to be more precisely. And this is a kind of like unique thing until right now, so I'm really like I'm curious how this turns out to be performing. So um, the Sun S2 comes in this kind of like square shaped or cubical shaped box and there's just like the number one logo on top. Here's just like some CE logo and something else. And on the back we have the specifications. So let's just quickly check it. We have, as I already said, the circle dial sandwich, like emphasize on the circle. Um, we have an IPS screen, which is like really good since most of the old Chinese smartwatches were still using the TFT, means like it has a really bad viewing angle, but like it actually it's supposed to be IPS display really nice if it's really like this. We have a touch screen, we have 128 megabyte of RAM and 64 megabyte of ROM, we have a heart rate sensor, we have a so-called electrocardiogram support. What actually is that? I don't know, I will check it later. We have a thermometer, we have a pedometer and we have the sizes. So let's check actually the smartwatch. And it comes in this like kind of like simple white with like smart wear on it and as probably you can see it's in this like kind of like translucent and reflective little pictograms on it looks quite nice and we can flip this thing on oh something snowy falling out whatever and we have already here the actual sun s2 smartwatch i will just pick it out and have a quick look on it and what you notice is that actually the watch face itself is really heavy it like feels valuable while what directly also hits me, I mean, I have the silver version with the silver metal strap and it kind of feels really cheap to be honest, the metal strap, it's really light and yeah, you can see that it's not like really nice, but surprisingly the smartwatch itself, I mean like the digital part, so this smart face is really heavy and feels actually really smooth and nice and valuable. I mean, like you can see it's really metal and on the right here you have this um, camera and here you have a little home button beside I think and on the back you have the actual heart rate sensor while also having here the contacts for charging and USB connection I guess and so yeah actually it feels pretty nice except of the band but like this thing itself is really nice and also I really like seeing that finally finally since like so many China smartwatches never had the possibility to change the strap. This is actually supposed to have a really ordinary strap um, holding here and as I see now, I mean like I'm not really so much into watches, but I think it's a really ordinary strap thing here so you can actually change it by yourself, which is fucking cool actually. So um, later I will like just put on here a small like hands-on, but first continue with the actual unboxing. So here we have another it's kind of small box. Inside we have a simple micro USB cable. And on the top, in the top of the box, you have another small hidden place, which yes, goes out. Where you have the actual um, charging device. So you can like put this for under this. And actually, yeah, I already feel it's magnetic, so it automatically pulls it here. This is kind of really convenient. And you have a small introduction, I mean like a small menu on English as well as Chinese. So that's this unboxing, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do so, you can just give me a small favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as I already mentioned, I will put on like some small hands-on after this. So have a nice day and see you soon, bye! So I've used the number one S2 now for one full day. And now I just want to quickly show you what I experienced so far and give you a short um, idea of how this watch is, can be used, how the menu look like and so on. So I will just start up and will boot up the watch. You do this like by long pressing this home button here and then the number one logo shows up and some little animation and then basically you're directly in the uh, main watch feature. 
Then it tries to connect automatically, which should succeed since my Bluetooth is turned on. Yes, and already says that it's connected to my phone, which is good. And here you can only see that it actually showed pushing every single notification from the phone to the watch. Since even I didn't, you can also set filters, but I haven't done yet. Uh, yes, exactly. This basically what stands here in the notification bar. You can see now on the watch itself. You can also, which is a pretty nice idea. I mean, like you can now watch what's written here. But you can even directly from the smartwatch block specific applications from sending notifications. You can just delete one where you can empty all of the notifications. It's pretty nice. So beside that, um, we have here the main watch menu, let's say. I mean like the standard face, which includes, as you see, the time, uh, like few, two shortcuts, the dialer and the messages. The messages just show you all short messages and you can read through them. And a little status bar, which basically shows you the Bluetooth connection and which um, profile it is. If we turn it on, then we get to this analog smart um, watch face, which there are three pre-installed. I will show you quickly. We have even a Rolex one, which is kind of funny. And here, a third one. I prefer this one, but yeah, not too much. <clears throat> but yeah, so let's check out the main menu. You go in there by swiping to the left. And yeah, you basically see the dialer, messaging, phone book, call book. Um, Bluetooth and several other things and the settings and the pedometer and sleep monitor and the kind of like movement reminder which is pretty nice it has like this small quick QR code which you can scan with your Android phone and you directly can download the APK for it you have a small calculator which have been improved if you watch the first video hands-on video from number one you have seen that at that time this wasn't like working on this more uh, round screen at all, but now it works. All things work on this round screen, pretty nice. And we go out of this. You can have an alarm, you can have several profiles like you know from your Android phone. And you have the file manager, you have an audio player, which you can either put music directly on the watch or you can basically use it as a uh, remote control for your mobile phone. You can also have this camera here, which I just want to show you quickly now which I haven't like tested so far, but it gives a kind of like bad impression, but I mean, I didn't really expect a lot. I mean, it has officially 1.3 megapixels, while other shops give the more realistic specifications of that it has around 300 kilopixels. Note that it's kilopixels, not megapixels, but could be funny for a short, like few snapshots, but nothing major. Then it has a like sound recorder, it have a kind of like image viewer, video player, and you can also measure your heart rate with it. I can just quickly show you this. And it's measuring, it actually turns on this LED, which is like supposed to be. And as I noticed so far, it's often kind of good, but often kind of far away from the, like anything real. Beside that, we have a thermometer and a called electrocardiograph, which is, I don't know, I think it's just like measuring the heart rate constantly and nothing else. So that's basically it what I want to show you, just like a quick introduction to how this thing behaves so far. So far I really much like it for its price actually, but the full review I actually just want to give when I really tested this thing for a longer time. So stay tuned for that and as I have my full review done I will post it in the video description. So have a nice day and bye!